Good morning, students. Welcome to the ninth part of coordinate geometry. In the eighth part, we actually have derived a very very important formula in coordinate geometry, which is called section formula. So in this lesson, now we are going to apply this formula to some problems. As we already discussed, section is basically a part. So when you have a line segment and this line segment is divided by a point P in the ratio m1 is to m2, we can actually calculate the coordinates of this point using this section formula. What is this formula says? So the coordinates of P are given by m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 and the y coordinate is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2. So this is a section formula we are going to apply now. And to remember this formula or to actually write this formula to remove or to eliminate any error in your mind, just I would like to explain a, a simple technique to remember this formula. You write m1, m2 and just below that you write x1 and x2. Now what we actually have to do is, we have to write something like cross multiplication. Like uh, then you take m1, m2 and y1, y2. So we have taken m1, m2 two times and in pairs and we have written x1, x2 here and y1, y2 here. Now actually what we do is, we just do something like cross multiplication. m1, x2. This will be the first one. Now let us do the cross multiplication from m2. Cross multiplication. Then we will have m2, x1. So this will form the numerator portion. Just I would like to recollect this once again. m1, x2 plus m2, x1. And as, as I told you in the denominator, you will always have m1 plus m2, this is fixed. So some of the two terms in the ratio, that is antecedent and consequent, you have to add them. So m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. Similarly, you can do the same thing for y also, just like this, m1 y2 plus, now what is that you will get? Now, right, m2 y1, again in the denominator you will have m1 plus m2. So this is one of the shortcuts to remember this formula. And you can use this technique while you solve the problems also. So this is how we are going to use this formula, that is section formula. And this is the formula, again I am writing here, m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. And the y coordinate is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. Now we will take an example and we will solve this. Then you will understand this formula better. Now here. I have taken a formula where find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining I have taken two points A 5 3 and B 14 9. If you observe these two points actually lie in the first quadrant only and what is the ratio we have 1 is to 2. So you have to find that find that point on you have to find the coordinates of the point which is dividing the line segment joining A and B. So for your understanding, I would like to draw the jaw, I mean graph for this. You need not draw this graph or you need not represent this in the coordinate plane when you solve these problems. But I am just uh, for your clarification, I am drawing this. So you have A, 5, 3 and B, 49 here. And this is the line segment joining the two points. And there is a point P here. Now it is dividing the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 2. So from A to P, it's actually one part. And P to B it is P to B it is two parts, and they, that means uh, the P B is actually double of uh, A P. Now let us actually apply the formula, and how to? I mean, let's find the coordinates of uh, the point P. So this is a problem we have. Now let us write the information that we have in the problem: A five three, B forty nine, and the ratio is one is two two. As I explained you just now, let us write the values M one M two x1, x2. Again let us write m1, m2, y1 and y2. This is for your primary understanding. Once you get acquainted with solving these problems, you need not write like this. So for your understanding only, I am writing this. So m1, m2 and m1, m2 I have written two times. Now I have written the values also. Now let us write the values of x1, x2 and y1, y2. You just have to keep in your mind one thing. If this point A is x1, y1 and this b is x2, y2. So here I have written 
two x coordinates five and fourteen. Now here I have written two y coordinates which are three and nine. Okay, keep this in your mind. Now let us write the formula. What is the formula? M one x two plus M two x one divided by M one plus M two and M one y two plus M two y one divided by M one plus M two. Now let us multiply M one x two and M two x one. This will form the x coordinate, but divided by M one plus M two. Then you will have M one y two plus M two y one divided by M one plus M two. So what you will have M one x two. That means one into fourteen plus M two x one two into five divided by M one plus M two, which is one plus two. That will form the x coordinate of P. Now let us move to the y coordinate. M one y two. So this is one into nine plus M two y one, which will be two into three. Once again in the denominator you will have M one plus M two, which is one plus two. So after substitution you will have this one into fourteen plus two into five by one plus two, one into nine plus two into three. Divided by one plus two. As you know, this simple multiplication and addition. One fourteen is our fourteen plus two five is ten. Divided by three, and one nine is our nine. Two three is our six. Again divided by three. Now we know ten plus fourteen is twenty four by three, and nine plus six is fifteen by three. So you can cancel the table. In three table you can have twenty uh, four eight times, and fifteen will go five times. So this is the point on the coordinate plane which divides. Line, the line segment joining A and B in the ratio one is to two. If you take some other ratio like two is to three or three is to four, you will get a different answer because each point divides the line segment in its own ratio. For your understanding, I am taking one more problem. Find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining A minus two two and B three five. Now the ratio is three is to four. Just yes, as we have done in the previous problem, let us write the values we are given in the problem. Then let us write m1, m2, two times x1, x2, and y1, y2. What is m1 here? Three, and m2 is four. Let us write it two times so that once we can write x1, x2, and for the other pair you can write y1, y2. What is x1 here? Minus two. What is x2? Three, and y1 is two. Y2 is Five. So let us write the values here: minus two, three, two, and. So after substitution, for that you as you as we have discussed in the previous case, let us put the arrows like this. In the previous case, we have done m one x two. Now this will be three into three plus four into minus two, three into minus five plus four into two. So let us write the values here. You have to just uh, uh, there is a small error in this. It's actually three minus five. Make it three minus five. It's not three five. So you have to change the value here also. It is three minus five. So it's a typing error. Excuse me for that. Now let us multiply this. Uh, three three is nine. Four into it is minus two. So you'll have minus eight. So this is nine minus eight divided by now it is three plus four seven. Three into minus five is minus fifteen. Plus eight divided by seven, so nine minus eight by seven, and minus fifteen plus eight by seven. As we know, nine minus eight is one, so it is one by seven. And in the second coordinates, you will have minus fifteen plus eight is minus seven by seven. If you cancel the table, you can cancel. Otherwise, you can leave it as a fraction. Also, it's it's not a big thing. So in the x coordinate, you cannot cancel, so it is minus one by seven. But for y coordinate, seven gets one. I mean seven in one time, so we'll have minus one. So this is how. You can find the co coordinates of a point which divides the given line segment in the ratio that is given in the problem. Once again, I am telling you this. This is minus five. It's not five. So it's it's a error here. It's three minus five. So whenever you have two points, and when you are given the ratio in which the line segment is divided, this is how you have to solve the problem. Actually, we have another kind of application to this problem. We'll discuss that in the second portion part of this. That is part number ten of coordinate geometry. Here I am giving you a simple assignment: find the coordinates 
of the line joining there been two points in the ratios when the first one the ratio is 3 is to 2 and in the second one the ratio is uh, 1 is to 3 so practice the two examples that i have explained you need not draw the graph you just have to do the calculations and to submit the assignment assignment to me you practice this because in the 10th part of this coordinate geometry we have to use this formula once again but we solve a different kind of problem thank you